Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tamerlane. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libra, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Dun, 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 dun. Pussy power. What's up, ladies? Peace, peace, peace. I tell everybody how you live, how you live, how you live. I hope everybody's living well, doing swell. Divine Feminine, I hope you out there doing that Divine Feminine strut. Looking good, feeling good, smelling good, acting right, pockets tight, because that's the vibe we like to be under over here. You know what I'm saying? What's up, ladies? I ain't talked to y'all in a couple of days. So, you know, I had to come and touch down for my girls and get this Divine Feminine message. How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing good? I hope so. If not, I want to send my energy your way because I am comfortable and I want to share the comfort with you. Okay? You know? What's going on, ladies? Where my girls at? Where my girls at? From the front to back, is you feeling that? Yeah, we feeling that. Where my girls at? Where my girls at? Yeah, I like to get that energy flowing, y'all. I like to get that energy flowing for my ladies. You know what I'm saying? But you know what we got to do, y'all. Before we get our chit-chat started, we got to amp up this protection, y'all. Because, you know, we got the bitches in the back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's always, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're going to return our evil eyes to sender. I mean, is it ever going to stop, y'all? You know what I'm saying? Is it ever going to stop? Is they ever going to let us loose? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that you got to be really miserable that you wake up every day and see how you can hurt someone else. I mean, my goodness. Get you a life. Get yourself together. Get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know y'all feel me, Divine Feminine. Where my girls at, man? Where my girls at? Ooh, from the front to back, is you feeling that? Ooh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Girl. All right, y'all. You know I got my boy Elvis on deck as usual. Because he made a song famous about Return to Cinder. And I think that song is appropriate for this occasion. So we're going to return all you eyes to Cinder. You know what I'm saying? We're we not doing no spell work on nobody. we just returning the negative energy back that you're sending toward us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if I'm just going to sing a little bit. Um, return to Cinder by Elvis Presley. If you know a lady, sing along with me. Help me return these evil eyes to Cinder. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Elvis, man. You up, dog. You up. Return to Cinder. Address unknown. No such number. No such phone, no such number, no such phone. Don't nobody stay there. Get you some business. Go wash your feet, girl. You know what I'm saying? Go wash your feet. All right. Go wash your feet. This is an environment of consciousness, of awareness, of healing, of love, of self-healing, of self-love, of evolution, of enhancement. And if you're not about that, get the hell out of here. You done came into the wrong dough. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to do some things over here. And you done came and just messed up the energy. So get your murky energy ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because we taking care of business over here. All right? Now you get now. You get. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to um, rebuke your negative energy, sweetheart. Okay? I rebuke your negative energy away from me. As I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me. As I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me. As I will it, so mote it be. Above all, I will not, I shall not be your victim. You figure deal me? I know y'all feel me, Divine Feminine. Where my girls at? Where my girls at? From the front to back, is you feeling it? I know y'all feeling me. Where my girls at? Where my girls at? We in the house. We in the house representing. You know what I'm saying? Standing tall and taking charge. You know what I'm saying? All right, since we got that out the way. Girl, let's have our chit-chat, Divine Feminines. 
Divine Feminine. You got it going on out here, girl. What you done did? You know what I'm saying? You sit up here and created something. I mean, from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know if you uh, started a new career or you uh, got a, uh, created a business or uh, you did something. You did something. I don't know if you created something with your hands or... But whatever you did, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's taking off for you. Congratulations, boo. See, that's why, ladies, I tell us, you know, even though you, you, you feel that you have to work out there in the matrix, take some time out for yourself and, and, you know, get into your creativity because that's what your soul desires. You know what I'm saying? If you love to read, I mean, take the thing. You work, you work eight hours a day, Okay. At least give yourself an hour to a week, dang, to do the thing that you like to do. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, that's loving yourself. If you'd like to read, just take a couple of hours and read a book until you, you know what I'm saying, finish doing it. If you'd like to sew, just take a couple of hours out the week and just sew whatever it is you'd like to sew. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you'd like to... Anything you like to do, if you like to do crossword puzzles, I mean, if you, anything that you like to do that you love to do, do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's your creativity. You need to tap into that. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, you know what I'm saying? What we make careers and things out of, and we're very innovative ladies. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're creative. We are the creators. So why not tap into that, that, that thing, that niche that is innately in you? If you like to garden, take a couple of hours and garden. You, you, work to, you work for the Matrix eight hours a day. You can't take two hours a week to you know, tap into your, your inner your energy, your inner, what, what you desire, what, what fulfills you, what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? If you like to paint, take a couple of hours a, a week and paint. I mean, why you can't do that? You know what I'm saying? You give more time to the matrix. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. It's bad enough that they done took all the, the music and, and drama and all that good stuff out the schools. And you know what I'm saying? They even take jam out. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? They don't even have music. Like, we used to sit in there and have music. They don't even have that. They don't uh, teach the children about playing instruments or nothing no more. You know, it's like no creativity, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? So we need to tap into that, y'all, because that's what we are, ladies. We are creators. And when you tap into that, that mentality, you, you man, the sky's the limit. You don't know what you will come up to, but you need to enhance that. It's dormant. So let's take it out of, uh, stop it from being dormant. And you know what I'm saying? And you know, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. And Divine Feminine, you have done this. And you created something that's bringing you prosperity, abundance. You got it out the mud. I mean, you took nothing and you turned it into something. Alchemize your ass off. Alchemize that energy. And that's what you did with your alchemist ass. You hear what I'm saying? You took nothing and turned it into something. And it's paying off for you. You not it took you financial stability, financial freedom, because you're not in the matrix. You work for your damn self. Talk about bossy. Do you feel me? Come on, man. Talk about bossy. Do you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to punch no clock. You is the clock. You figure deal me out. Oh, come on, man. Come on with it. Come on with it. You, you, you got it out the mud. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, girl. I wish I knew you tell me how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you do it, girl. Do it. Do it. Everybody has their time. But you got to step through that door. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out of this... Um, routine of the matrix because that's why they have you working all the time and not getting sleep I mean um, because it, 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 it burrows you down you know what I'm saying so that you can't be free to think you know what I'm saying to be a critical thinker to to think to create you know what I'm saying and that's and that's the trap of the matrix you know what I'm saying but divine feminine Girl, you write your own paychecks. You know what I'm saying? You just dip into the business account because it's who your business. You know what I'm saying? You took nothing and turned it into something, baby. I love that. I love that. What we got? Let's get this energy out here. 
Y'all know what I'm hearing. Ah ha, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's holding on to your energy and tempt you with this little stinky penis. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, like you really want that. You know what I'm saying? Get thee away from me, Satan. Okay? Here we go, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Temptation is out here. That's the energy. This fool from your past trying to come back with his tallywhacker. With his tally whacker. Do you hear me? Girl. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. The angels will come down and balance everything for you. You finna have a new beginning, baby. You finna have a new beginning, baby. You see what he got on the side? Pentacles on one side and a cup on another. The universe showing you love so he can take his tally whacker. <laughs> And go ahead on. Y'all remember they say Tally Wacker uh, uh, on, um, what's that lady on Porky's? <laughs> the one that got caught in the toilet and was running up the steps. They had the snake in the toilet. And she called it the Tally Wacker. <laughs> they called it the Tally Wacker. But girl, let's get this terror out of here because this fool, here he come, y'all. Here he come. Here he come. Hey, hey, remember me? You remember me looking ass, you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, nah, where I meet you at? <laughs> we took nothing, turned it into something. Gerald, sexy Gerald, what'd he say? From the south side to the east side. <laughs> From the ghetto to the high rise, look at how we living now. Check out how we living now. From the hooty to the benzo, ow! From the greyhound to the limos, look at how we rolling, girl. Check out how we rolling, girl. How you do it? How you do it? We took nothing. Yeah. Oh, she got a lot of mud. That's what I'm talking about. Turned it into something. Oh, Gerald. Mm -hmm. Oh, I pee, brother. We took nothing. I know, I know. Turned it into something. Turned it into something. Na na na. I know y'all feel me. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? <laughs> y'all remember that? <laughs> he say. From the ice deed to the crystal, <laughs> from the swap meet to the big mouse, that's how we balling, girl. Checking how we balling, <laughs> check out how we balling, girl. Oh, from sex into making love, from protection to no glove, that's how we. That's how we making babies now. We're making babies. That's how we making babies now. You know what I'm saying? We took nothing. Yeah, 
it got it out the mud, girl. Oh, and turned it into something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Joe said it. She got, she took nothing and turned it into something, got it out the mud. I am so proud of you. And we all can do that. You know what I'm saying? You just got to wonder what is it that you like to do? You know what I'm saying? Enhance that. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, you know, look at Charleston White. Charleston White famous from talking crap. He took his talent of talking crap and he's a viral sensation on the internet. You may not agree with everything that he say, but I can't knock his hustle. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he good at, talking crap, talking ish. And instead of him just sitting around and just talking ish and getting on people's nerves, he make making money by talking ish. People get him ten thousand dollars plus for a, a, a interview. You know what I'm saying? So I can't knock his hustle. Look at Tasha K. Tasha K always in somebody business. <laughs> she always telling somebody business. Used to be, get jumped on in school and everything, you know what I'm saying, for telling people business, you know what I'm saying, being a busy busybody. But what she do? She took her talent and she made, and she's viral sensation on her. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Financial freedom, both of them. You know what I'm saying? So if, you, if your talent is a little shady or whatever, you know what I'm saying, use your talents for good. Flip it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Divine Feminine did. She took nothing, 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 and turned it into something. Nah, nah, nah. Then you got this pelican head ass dude coming back from her past trying to disrupt the, the, the harmony. Get thee away from me, Satan. Fat, 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 find your ass. <laughs> that I turn on his ass. I find your ass. What we got out here, y'all? What we got out here? Mm, mm, mm. Girl, this fool out here. You is his wish fulfillment. He got his eye on you. You know what I'm saying? He want to reconcile with you. This is somebody that you dealt with in your past. He want to reconcile with you. Now, he dealing with like about three other chicks. But he watching you. Because whatever you got going on, you are her popping. You some type of star. You could have a platform. You know what I'm saying? Things is, you, you the will is in your favor. And this is burdening this fool. This is a burden for him, girl. What the hell? He's a burden for him that he can't be with you and enjoy this time with you in your life. You know what I'm saying? As if, if you would have been with him, you would have been able to be free-minded and create. He would have probably loaded you down because you left his ass in the past for a reason. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't there when you got it out the mud. He didn't support you. He wasn't there when you was crying. He wasn't there in the hard times because, man, tell, uh, it, it be hard times before your stuff pop off. You know what I'm saying? You go through it. The doubts, people talking about you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You doubting yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, going on, the praying, the crying. And, uh, he wasn't there for that. You got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Gerald said it. Nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? You did that. You know what I'm saying? This fool been over here spiritually attacking you. Spiritually attacking you to get you caught up. You know what I'm saying? Sending you. He wants you to be lustful. He wants you to. He's sending all type of sexual energy your way. He want to break you off so bad. You know what I'm saying? And he been trying his best, girl, to make you want him. Sending you all type of sexual energy, trying to get you tempted. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tap into your dream state, all that crap. You know what I'm saying? So he can come put you in the house of lust. And then you can be with him. He trying to uh, uh, de-whoop you because he think he got it on. He got it going on like that. And he tired. 
He tired of uh, uh, fighting with you. He wants you to stop resisting him. Boy, don't nobody want your ass. This person wants to be in a commitment with you because of the money that you're making. That's why he wants to be in a commitment with you. You beautiful, you loving, you're caring, you're nurturing. Uh, you could be a, a very intuitive, you could be a psychic medium. Go on, girl. Hell, you probably do what I do. You know what I'm saying? You know, but this is a little something I was doing on the side. You know what I'm saying? But when um, that uh, COVID took effect, you know what I'm saying? People was losing their jobs and everything. You know what I'm saying? And people were scared to work. And, you know, I started doing this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what uh, my mom played with cards. You know what I'm saying? So I play with cards. Uh, I had a sister that, uh, uh, rest, rest in peace, she plays with cards. And I have another sister, uh, she, she, she likes to play cards. You know what I'm saying? That's our thing. You know what I'm saying? And so I took something that I just like to do leisurely in my leisure time. You know what I'm saying? Because I am intuitive. And I made it into a business. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, and, her, and whoever this is, her stuff is popping. So take some time out, ladies, and, and get into your creativity. But this dude trying to bend you over, Divine Feminine, sending you sexual energy, don't know how to step to you like a gentleman, like a real man. So he got to do sex magic. I mean, get on out of here, man, to get you caught up. You know what I'm saying? Probably get you. Look at her. Girl, bye. You know what I'm saying? Let's uh, get some more energy out here. Mm -hmm. We took nothing. 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 Turn it into something. We took nothing, turn it into something. See, he don't want you to be a star. He wants to slow you down. So he thinks that he can just come put it on you and just distract you and stop you from doing what you're doing. This is a stanky, lousy person. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you left his ass in the past because you wouldn't have been able to accomplish what you accomplished with this person. This person probably jealous of you, don't want you to make more money than he do. And thinking he got the best uh, dingling in the world. You know what I'm saying? That he could stop you from living out your dream. Are you serious? And what type of real man anyway, if he was interested in a woman, would want his woman to not progress? A narcissist, a jealous as envious narcissist. And how you would you how you gonna be jealous of somebody that's supposed to be your mate? You're a goofy. That's what you are. You're a goofy. You know what I'm saying? I wanna slow you down. Girl, I tell you about Ooh wee. And these men talk about us, girl. These men is something else. They egotistical, you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. They insecure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, girl, go, oh, oh. We, I don't know why we made that. We do. We did so much better without them. I swear, we did so much better without them. You know what I'm saying? The the wheel is turning in your favor. Whatever you do, you stand out. It, you have your own personal brand. You go, girl, and, and you're standing out. So you're different. You're unique. You're not like the others. That's why you stand out. And the wheel is turning in your favor. And this fool can't do nothing but keep watching you. Mm-hmm. You are some type of speaker? You're some type of speaker and you're on center stage because people are looking at you. You could be uh, speaking at um, events and conferences and workshops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you share messages. You are a healer. And you share messages that transform lives through your work. Go on, girl. We took nothing, 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 and turned it into something. Yeah, what do you say? From the south side to the east side. Yeah. 
From the ghetto to the high rise, look at how we live now. Check on how we live now. <laughs> <laughs> From the hoopty to the benzo. <laughs> From the greyhound to limos. That's how we rolling now. Check how we rolling. <laughs> Check out how we rolling now. You know what I'm saying? Profit. Profit, damn it. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And this person want to stop you. He want to go that girl. I don't know what he going. He don't want you, girl. He, if you, girl, you and I having sex with this person. You're not. If you have sex with I, girl, if you even, if, if, I will jump in your in your dream. I will jump in your body, and make your legs not open. Do you hear me? Cause you not don't mess with this fool. Why would you mess with this fool? Because he wants to sleep with you to stop you, to distract you from, to get you caught up, to stop you from. What type of man would do that? If he was really, you know what I'm saying, by your side and supporting you, that wouldn't want you to excel. A jealous ass, egotistical, self-centered, insecure, low self-esteem, punk monster. That's what he is. You know what I'm saying? So why would you not, girl? Girl, look here now. You see, we got the bow around the money. You see, the bow is around the money. Girl, we to nothing. He just want to be in a relationship with you uh, for money. So he think he can put it on you. Just screw you, screw you silly. You be like, yes, I'll be your lover. Boy, get up. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> this person might try to manage you. Girl, this is a person that uh you know what I'm saying? You you if you miss spend time with this person, this ten person will drain your energy. This is a task that you do not need to put your energy into. Put your energy into your business. You know what I'm saying? He will drain all your energy for him to manifest because he's a bum. He's a flop. And he can't manifest no energy. So by him tapping into your sacral energy, he can manifest off your energy. And that's what he wants to do, drain your energy. This, this dude is not in the realm of your brilliance brilliance you know what I'm saying so why would you even go there you know what I'm saying girl girl you mess with that dude he gonna be I ain't never gonna hurt you girl I ain't never gonna go nowhere I ain't never gonna <laughs> he ain't gonna go nowhere and he gonna drain all your energy he gonna sit there and just drain you until you can't got nothing left and you're gonna be sitting there like a Empty pork and rice box. You know what I'm saying? Just empty. Why he manifesting off your energy? Girl, please. Mm -mm. He tried it. Girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. No, honey. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You could be doing something in broadcasting or something, or you could be starting a, a podcast or something. But whatever it is, I mean, you're on the air. You got some type of platform, you some type of speaker, podcast, something. You know what I'm saying? You, you have a unique voice. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could be on radio, you know, and that's why this person wants to be in a relationship with you. Actually, you inspire this person. You inspire this person because he, he you and you and this person come from the same place. You guys live the same type of life, same area, and you got it out the mud and you did your thing. So he, you're actually inspiring this person, and that's really great. You know what I'm saying? But instead of him stepping out of the box and doing what you did, he'd rather stop you from elevating. He's miserable, so he'd rather bring you down where he's at. Because he didn't take the chance in life that you did. But you inspire this person. This person looks up to you. You know. 
That's why I tell you, ladies, create space for your creativity. Create space for your creativity, and you don't know what type of ideas you'll come up with, what type of ideas that will flow. I mean, that's, that's, that's the loving yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you could be a slave 40 hours a week to the Matrix, give yourself two hours out that week. I just said two. You know what I'm saying? Make a, a, a creative space, and you know, and let's let yourself flow. Like my divine feminine did, and she got and took nothing from something, and and you know what I'm saying, you know, and she's like from the ice Steve to the crystal, <laughs> from the swap meets to the big balls, that's how we ballin' now. You know what I'm saying? Look at how we ballin' now. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the North Bay. Let's get some messages out the North. You know what I'm saying? We took nothing, 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 turning into something. Boy, I miss Gerald LeVert. He not only was a, a damn good singer, but he was a hell of a performer. Oh, boy, when you see Gerald LeVert, you know you got a show. I don't care what he was on. You know what I'm saying? He gave it up. He said, Gerald, give it up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's some real for your ass right there. You just don't get good good music like that nowadays. It's just, just music, just terrible. I don't know what these people, these young folks done tapped into. Ain't no love out here. I just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. We we we, we so far away, y'all. We just, you know what I'm saying? You know. I don't know if this person is, uh, is re making want to make you a rebound. He probably just broke up with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and things ain't right in his life. You know what I'm saying? You know how you break up with your mate or going through a divorce or something and things ain't right in your life and you trying to, you know what I'm saying, get things back. You know what I'm saying? So this fool wants your energy because he can't manifest nothing. So he can make his life better because he just got out of a relationship. And he see you popping. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he, he have, he's sexing other women. Yeah. But they can't um, put him on his feet like you. He looking at you like a lick. Okay? <laughs> he looking at you like a lick. But this person is worthless. This is a worthless piece of dung. He's there to stop you. He's there to steal from you, to steal your energy. Take it from you and create something for himself. He's a piece of dung. You know what I'm saying? He's a piece of dung. Something's wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? Something ain't right with him. This is uh, somebody that was molested in his childhood. Mm-hmm. Yep. He got issues. This is somebody that's traumatized and hurt people hurt people, especially when, when they don't get no healing. And this person hasn't healed. He hasn't healed, you know. Uh, this person um, could have a, a page on OnlyFans doing a sex me baby, you know what I'm saying, to get his uh, uh, money on. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not making no money. You know what I'm saying? This person done lost his job. You know what I'm saying? So, so to rebound back, he's on OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And he sees you. You know what I'm saying? He think he could really come up because he ain't making as much money on as on OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? This person is worthless. He's a user. He's worthless. Your manifestations are coming to reality. And this person is watching you. Look, I don't know why he's watching you. You don't mess with this dude. I don't know why this dude in your life. You know what I'm saying? He need to get you, get him some business. If he focused on his life instead of worrying about showing, he probably could make a come up. Worthless, freeloading, using ass. You know what I'm saying? Please. No good. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, an ex is an ex for a reason. Let him be an ex. Do you hear me? This person got issues. He was traumatized. He was molested as a child. He never healed from that. You know, that left him wounded. You know what I'm saying? And he need to work on himself before he try to be with anybody. But this person is using you as a come up. 
And if he can sleep with you, he's going to try to put some type of sex magic on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're targeted. You're targeted. This person has an agenda. I don't know why. But I know it's to destroy you. It's to sabotage you. You're targeted. You're targeted by this person. This person is worthless. This person is worthless. He's a piece of dung. Why waste your time? You know what I'm saying? Don't waste your time. She's my friend and I tell you she ain't no good. He up here dealing with this white woman, but he worried about you. Or, or you can look at this message another way. He is with a white woman, okay? And his total focus is on you. So he got this crazy bitch targeting you because she can't stop him from watching you. Targeting you because he probably done left her ass thinking that he going to get with you. Targeting you because she knows that he wants to come over there where you at. You don't deal with this person. You ain't talk to this person. This person is intruding in your life. And now he got this crazy bitch that he deal with. You know. That wants to come and try to harm you or do something to you, sabotage you because he can't stop watching you. Girl, don't nobody want your man. Don't nobody want your low down, stank ass man. Don't nobody want to be you, honey. He probably over there whooping your ass. You know what I'm saying? Cheating on you, definitely. Because he's a narcissist. Don't nobody want to be you? Y'all need to go, man. Y'all need to go. Don't nobody want him? Especially when Divine Feminine is, is, uh, is she popping. Why would she want this low life? Girl gone. You and this fool. And you need, you need to get your girl uh, home, boy. You need to get your girl. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you ain't got nothing going on over here with Divine Feminine. So you need to get your girl. For real. Well, this is the message that I have for you, Divine Feminine. That makes me mad. You know what I'm saying? He got he bringing this crazy hoe in your life. You know what I'm saying? You don't know her. You know what I'm saying? It tells you what type of man, you know what I'm saying, he is. Look at this crazy woman he messed with. I want to try to harm somebody because she can't control her, man. This woman ain't did nothing to you. She over uh, worrying about checking her dollars. You need to check your man. Both of y'all crazy. Crazy is thing one and thing two. You know what I'm saying? I mean, girl, you you tripping off somebody that don't even want you. He messing with three other women. He messing with three other women. But you ain't worried about them, right? Because Divine Feminine the only one that got it going on. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all, Divine Feminine. And if you feel anybody can benefit from this reading, please, please, please. Share the consciousness, share the awareness, you know. Um, just stay uh, prayed of Divine Feminine and make sure you keep doing your protection rituals, taking your spiritual baths because ain't no telling what she's doing. I know he's definitely sending sex sexual energy your way, trying to tempt you, you know, <laughs> all in your energy. Ain't no telling what she's doing, but just, you know, just stay in, you know. And your ancestors, they got you. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, and your angels, they got you. Just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a fabulous job, honey, because you created something out of nothing. And I'm proud of you because it ain't too many people that could say that. I'm so proud of you. Well, I love y'all, and they crazy out here, y'all. I will see you ladies on the next Divine Feminine Message. Y'all be easy out there, okay? Bye-bye.